Anybody with a belly piercing knows that if you lose the ball to your belly ring and you don't have a backup, it's over. Some peoples have even fell down the drain. You go to change your jewelry and then this happens. Peace out. Why not try to get rid of the problem altogether? Belly rings that screw on with a charm instead of a ball are elite. Here's why. If you're changing your jewelry and drop the top piece, it's not going anywhere. Ones like this also tend to sit up pretty high, so you can wear any kind of pants with them, even high waist jeans. And did I mention they come in different styles too? Hey guys, today I've decided to pierce my own ears. I've had these needles for about a year because my friend did my ears before, but they got infected, so I just took them out. But I still have some to piss my own. I'm using these Chanel earrings. The earrings I got are fake metal and they're from AliExpress, but they're really cute. I've got an apple behind my ear and I'm really scared now. I'm really scared of pain. I don't think I can do it myself. I'm just going to do it. I have to. I need to. Oh, ow. I'm really shaking. I did one side and it didn't even hurt. So time to do the second one. Okay. Oh, this one hurts more. <sighs> my mom's cleaning it now. She just took my earring out while it's... Ugh. So I had to re-pierce the ear. Now I'm sterilizing the earring in salt water. I just pierced both my ears and I love them so much. Hopefully this one doesn't get infected since it had so many problems. <laughs> the man. The legend. I know nothing at all. I can't contribute to this conversation. Well, I got my face pierced today, and ever since I got my she face pierced, my nerves been day. fucking up, and my fucking face been like this. I'm Annie the Impaler and I'm a professional piercer and I say fuck Claire's. So this is a child ear piercing that I did. I'm a trained professional and I only use needles and clean methods. So we have someone that came in. She got pierced somewhere else and they put the wrong jewelry in it and she got um, labrets in there instead of curved barbells. So now that we don't have any swelling room. Swollen. Julie's coming out, okay? So, what are we gonna do now? Uh, I'm just gonna clean her up first. <laughs> Did you research the place where you went? Um, no, I didn't research it myself. I trusted someone else to do the research, which they didn't clearly. Um, so just do it yourself so that you know what you're getting yourself into. This was so painful to do and to take out, so. <laughs> I want to show you a septum piercing that I fixed the other day. So this client actually reached out to Lynn. They sent a picture to them of their septum piercing and was asking if it was done correctly. And as you can see, it was not. It was done way too low, not through the correct part of the cartilage in the septum. You can see a little bit better here. It is right through that really hard ridge. And because of the way their nose is shaped, their soft spot is a lot higher up, which is fine. It's still able to be pierced, but the person that pierced them did not do a good job. And I'm not going to lie, this was probably the trickiest septum I have ever pierced. Um, I did not get it on the first try. I did have to try a second time because the first time it was still a little too low and just not straight enough. And I, I knew that this person could get the septum piercing. I knew I could make it perfect. And so I asked them if I could try again. And they said yes. And we got it. Look at that. Look at that. It's so much higher than it was before. It's actually through the correct part of the cartilage in the septum. And it's not crooked. Like the before and after is just astounding. 
And I just really wanted to share the story because this client said that they wanted their septum pierced originally because they were kind of self-conscious about their nose and they just wanted something to disguise it and just take away from it. And then they got this horrible piercing that was also, I didn't even add, painful. They said it felt like literal sandpaper moving through the piercing after even six months. Like they had this in for six months and it was still that painful. They gave me permission to share these pictures for educational purposes and they even went on to send me a message saying thank you for giving them their confidence back and this is why I do this job. This is what happened while I was getting my septum pierced. Warning the noise is terrible. OMG, it hurts so bad. I'm literally crying over my nails right now because they're so ugly. <laughs> oh my god, okay. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels. And this is what I got. Whoa. Oh! Okay. Oh! That's it. That's it. Oh! Checking it out now. Oh! That's all. I promise oh! You. Give you a little clean now. Oh, there it is. Oh, and now we're gonna see about sliding this jewelry on in here. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, a little bit of pressure right there. And jewelry here. You stretching the skin out. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Just checking it out now and seeing that the dermal is fully in there and stuff. Oh. Okay. Is it okay are you to give press you? It? Are you gonna press it again? Yeah, I would mm -hmm. need to. But you let me know when you're ready and stuff. I ain't oh. gonna do anything. <laughs> but I do need to give it another little stretch here. Okay, go. Okay. Stretching the skin out. So I went to go get a piercing today, excuse my eyeliner because I literally cried it off during this process, but I don't know if this is normal. So first off, when she pierced me, um, I like had my head back, she was like pushing the jewelry through and it felt like it was a size bigger and I was like, are you sure this is the right jewelry? And then she's like, just breathe. So I literally did. And she's like, oh my God, you just inhaled the piercing. Um, I didn't feel that, but the piercing was nowhere to be found. So I'm really afraid that I actually inhaled the piercing and i might die from that like can you die from that i'm not sure but on this one it's fine but like on this one you can literally feel the piercing like through my nose i don't know if you can even see that it's like straight through the i don't know if i should take this out or what i should do and also like do you die from snorting a piercing um Monique, I tell you, shit. I can't breathe. <laughs> oh God, help her, Marie. Help her. How does that even happen? <laughs> help her, Marie. Why ain't you helping her? Don't. No, Lucky, don't, don't kill me. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I've never understood why people only use one glove. It's not doing anything. It's not clean at that point. And then when they take the ungloved hand and touch the stuff that was just inside their body. So uh, my nose piercing fell out and the piercing place doesn't open for three hours. And I'm scared that my piercing is going to close up. So this is what we're doing. I'm not, I'm not crying. This is your sign to not get your piercings done by yourself and go to a professional. Fuck. So, I've been trying to take this off and I'm now bleeding and it's been stuck to my... <gasps> Then 
could we at least pull up here and get some dinner? Because I like to be wined and dined after I've been fucked! Don't be sad, go get a piercing. 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 All right, here we go, my honey. Give me a really deep breath in. Let that out. Perfect. Feeling okay? Mm -hmm. All righty. Try not to move for me. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put your ring in. It does feel a little uncomfortable, so just bear with me. Here we go. Perfect. I just got a screw on your bead, and we are all set. You are going to be on a little bit of a diet. I am mm -hmm. going to give you your cleaning instructions before you go. There's certain things you can't eat now, just for two weeks. All right. I mean, it's still attached to my skin. <gasps> oh! <laughs> TikTok. My brother literally got his back piece stuck in his ear. What do I do? It's like really early. Everybody's sleeping. Just take it out, just take it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow, ow. Okay, okay. See, it's literally just stuck in there. We don't know how to take it out. We tried. Any advice? So I want to tell you a little story time about the time that I got my pierced, you know? I'm sorry in advance if there's any background noise. I usually film at night and I'm filming during the day so people are awake. Anyways, it was a very spontaneous decision that me and my best friend made, so we had the money, we're like, oh, let's go get our Hershey Kisses pierced. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm down. But just a little backstory on the shop. At that time, they did not have any like reputable piercers. We didn't have any in the town that I live in. They were just going through piercers just like that. Obviously, they weren't trained piercers because I was pierced wrong multiple times by this same shop, by the same person. Anyways, so my best friend goes in, she gets hers done, they say that she takes it like a champ, so I'm a little bit more confident, and I was like, okay, I'm ready. I go in the back, I sit down in the chair, there's a whole ass man tattooing a woman's back, like, across the room from us. She didn't take me in a separate room, she didn't, like, make him leave or anything, so I had my Hershey Kisses pierced in front of two other people so she's like go ahead get ready so i was like fuck it i'm ready i'm about to do this mind you i have lower a cut boobs like there is no saving that shit even push-up bras cannot save these little babies so obviously i was very insecure about her seeing mine but since it was a girl piercer i felt a little bit more comfortable so i was like all right shit let me just take my shit off i take it off while she's getting the needles and stuff ready and she turns around <laughs> let me try and reenact what she did okay are you are you ready? She hesitated. She was looking at and she was hesitating. Almost like, mind you, my best friends, they're a lot bigger than mine. So I can see how it will be kind of a bit of a shock going from one spectrum to the other. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that really hurt my feelings a little bit because she was taken back. And I don't know if it's because Anyways, we get to the piercing and she pierces it. She pierces me wrong, by the way. Very, very wrong. That bitch never healed, ever. So I ended up having to take it out. But yeah, that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> it has been a very stressful morning. So, you know, I have piercings, obviously. And I was getting dressed after getting out of the shower and most of the time, I know to pull my shirts where they're not going to snag these motherfuckers. But I'm wearing our shop shirt in the studio that I work at, you know, got a rep. And I thought I pulled it out far enough, and I didn't. And my little gem decided it was going to pop off. Now, I couldn't find my gem at first, which was the worst part, is I couldn't fucking find it. So I had other gems that I did have in my nose, so I tried to put it in, but it was too small for one, and for two, it's threadless jewelry, and the pin on the other one was bent. And if you know anything about threadless jewelry, you're gonna know that if it's a curved barbell, you leave the pin straight. 
So obviously the ones I had in my nose, which are straight, they were bent, so they wouldn't fucking stay in. So I had to search my bathroom floor for this fucking gem that's two millimeters big. And then there was the bitch of getting it on, you know, I'm just an apprentice, I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing, and I have learned I am not nearly as gentle as my mentor is, and my eyebrow is currently pissed. Great morning! Great start to the morning. Can't wait to go and bug my mentor about it, because she gets to fix it and make sure that it's not going to fall out again. <laughs> anyway, use this video as an excuse to stitch it and tell me your piercing horror stories. Please, I beg. Make me feel less alone. Zero hate to OP. Those little wish guns or Amazon guns um, with a blunt butterfly back cause a lot of trauma. A butterfly back is not good to put in that area. I would do a flat libre. Um, you're just not going to heal from that. That quality of jewelry is... And you can't sanitize those guns. Uh, YouTube piercing an apple with a gun over a needle. Anyways, that was still so wholesome. The fact that mom was willing to do that, and then she held you like that, that was so cute. I have clients, like, their daughters will pass out, and the mom will be like, ah, they're gonna die. And the fact that your mom just, like, smiled and made it comfortable was so adorable. I love her. I love her. Don't do that. Come to a profesh bleh, professional. We'll take care of you, and then mom will take care of you afterwards, but we will, too. I just got mine done like literally um, a couple of hours ago and my worst fear I'm really concerned that it's wonky um, I, I don't know if it is they said that it could just be the swelling um, but to me it just looks really wonky now I know it's hard to get the bar straight but can you guys see that it's at like a that kind of angle and then, sorry, I'm going to show you guys my nose. Um, can you see how low down that one has been pierced at? Look how low that is. That doesn't seem right to me. And then on this side, God, um, I did clean my hands, by the way. Uh, yeah, this side, it just, like, it's hard with the lighting. Um, yeah. It just seems really wonky to me, but I don't know, it's my first septum, obviously, and I, it's really bugging me, like, really badly, um, and I also don't want a wonky hole, even if I take it out, so I'm worried that in a week I'll be left with a hole, <laughs> that's like, I don't know, I just, it really feels wonky, like, <sighs> is that better? Can you guys see that? Like, it just... Uh, uh, try to move the bar so it's like even. Like, I'm trying to make the bar even, but it, it just, it won't. And I think that's because it's funky. I'm really bummed. I had like eight, nine piercings in a day because I had all of these done as well. And these are absolutely fine. They're exactly what I wanted, but... Help me. Ayo, something traumatic happened that changed my life, check. I know everybody loves getting piercings and I just want to give a little disclaimer. So I had my smiley and my frowny and I had my frowny for like five years and so it's this little, your little frangulum for those of you who don't know. Yes, the piercing is super fucking cute, but it's not worth it. Don't fucking do it. I had to go to the emergency room like f four or five months ago and I had to get it removed because it was cutting into my gums and now the root of my tooth and my bone are exposed and the tissue is constantly falling out now. I have to get a gum graft and I have to pay out of pocket for it because my insurance doesn't cover it and there's only one place 
It's called a periodontist that you have to go to for any gum stuff. It's only one place in the whole entire city that I live in that will take my, take my insurance. They don't cover any of the prices. They just will take me. Please do your research before getting any stupid piercings like this because... Because this shit right here... Not worth it. Don't be stupid. Piercing check. Do 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 So I'm gonna be attempting to pierce my own belly button. I tried this last week and I failed. So we're gonna try again. I'm gonna put the gloves on before. I'm gonna miss my no belly button piercing belly. Does that even make sense? I don't think so, but... Okay. I can't show me piercing it, so I'm gonna have to find another spot. So it's gonna be like the opposite of the lighting, but it's okay. Because I can't show the needle or else TikTok will take this down. <clears throat> okay, let me get ready. So I'm just gonna clean the area. My belly is so nice. Like, not nice, like... You know, I don't hate my belly, but I do hate my belly button. Okay, wait. So I just opened the needle and now, you know? But I'm just gonna mark my where I want it real quick. Okay, so I marked it. I'm scared. I've been standing here for like five minutes just trying to get like get started but i just can't <sighs> guys so i got the <clears throat> the tip of the needle to go in like half of the tip actually and i haven't felt that much pain but i know once i go deeper i'm gonna start to feel all that pain and i'm scared i feel so much pressure and i hate it Okay, now it's starting to hurt more. Oh, okay, hold on. I was trying for a whole hour to get that needle to go through, but I was in too much pain, so. There's the fell. Once again, I give up with belly button piercings. Like, I'm just not getting one. This is my second time failing. Last time I was able to at least get the needle through, and then this time, only the tip, like, you know, the little tip of the needle, the sharpness, went through the other side. But then, after that, I couldn't keep going. It hurt so much. But oh well. It's okay. My belly button still looks cute. I have a, I have a problem. Oh my god. My... <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> oh, I was messing with my tongue ring, and I got it stuck in my teeth. I can't get it out. Oh, it hurts really bad. I can't be like this forever. <laughs> Oh my god! You about to witness some real disgusting shit, but before I show you, you need a little backstory first. When I first got my belly button pierced, she took way too much skin. Like a fat amount. So when it spaced out, there was this much of a hole that needed to be filled. She put the smallest piercing size they had in, and my stomach completely enveloped it. And she had to fish out my piercing. So then she puts in the biggest piercing, the longest piercing that they have. But that's still not long enough. And it has not closed up to this day, and it's actually kind of embarrassing. So I'm going to finally take it out. Here it is. Uh, yes, it's eating it again. Um, no, it has not closed up in two years, and I will be <laughs> making a part two of taking it out. 
Oh. Hold on, this is a second. Let me close it up a little bit more. No! <laughs> so this nose ring just came out. Oh, I get it. Ignore my hands, but like, ew, it hurts so bad. Is that flesh? Ah, uh, ah, uh, help. No, but it's really fun when your piercing randomly pops out of your nose and you can't put it back in because it's still heating. And then you accidentally drop it down the drain of the sink because there's no other place with a mirror where you can actually do this because you need to use the saline water and q-tips so then you have to experiment and improvise and adapt and put a fucking silver earring to your new nose piercing so that you can get there in you can get to a piercer in the morning so that this can be fixed I will cry. Please help me. <laughs> I've wanted this exact piercing ever since before I even got my septum pierced. It is a black Playboy bunny with a little red eye. As I just, I like the black bunny with the red eye aesthetic. Don't support Playboy. I'm just an idiot. But one thing I didn't consider was the ears pushing it up into my bulbous nose tip and wedging it in place to where I can't get it out. I've tried every little bobby pin, safety pin trick, different kinds of pliers. It's so sore. I'm sure if it didn't hurt so bad, I could just get in there. And I don't know what to do. I would like to keep it as an earring, just like this piercing I wanted, but it's also too, like, small for my fat nose. But like, for real, I just need help. On a better note, here's a little slurry man. Do you have a slurry? Last resort. I got it! Yeah. Uh don't support Playboy. The skin is actually broken and it cut my nose. I have to hold the what's left of the bar through, so I hold as it closed while I find their piercing. Damn, damn, damn! I just put my original one back in until I heal because I literally think I'm gonna cry. It's not okay. Um, long story short, the lesson I learned, don't support Playboy. It's not fucking worth it. I'm literally crying over my nails right now because they're so ugly. Oh my god, okay. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels, and this is what I got! Hey guys, Katie's about to pierce my ear. Might pass out, we'll see. This is what I look like with the headband on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my M G. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. Oh. 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 Girl, oh, did it even go all the way through? Oh, yeah. Here's the needle. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, push it in more. Mmm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> it's burning and itching. Coochie. But, uh, Kinda hurts like Bedussie. Hey, guys. My name's Erin. Today, I'm making ninis. Okay, bye. Does it hurt? Mm-hmm. Sorry. Do we want to give it a little bit? Yeah. I'm fucking crying right now, not because I'm in pain. No, no. Because I'm fucking frustrated. What happened is, I took out my little, like, nose piercing, my corkscrew, like, nose piercing. Okay, I found it. And see how easy it goes in when it's a straight line. Boom. Fucking in. Okay? But this is curved. And I don't know if my nose wall is just too fucking thick. I'm crying because I'm so fucking frustrated. 
I don't know if my nose wall is too thick, so the straight line only goes halfway through my nose wall, and then it starts curving, and it curves like a worm inside my nose wall. So instead of coming out on the other side and curving, it curves inside of my nose. Like, I watched a tutorial and you just, you're supposed to just put it in and then turn it counterclockwise, but as you see, it doesn't work because it doesn't go all the way through. And then when I try to like force it to turn, it turns inward inside of my fucking nose wall. And it doesn't hurt. It just, it starts bleeding and it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> you see how it has started to like turn now? But it's not through. You can't see it on the other side. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is so gross, but when I like do this, I can feel the bar inside my nose. <sighs> like curved inside my fucking nose. What the fuck do I do? And before I say go to a professional, fuck you. And again, the hole is there and it's all the way through. It's that fucking easy. <laughs> And I saw it poke through, but it was just fucking snot. Can someone tell me how this works? How can this happen? It's supposed to just be a hole, right? How can it just. I, I can turn it all the way around with the whole thing inside, and I can feel it moving inside of my fucking nose wall. How? And it doesn't hurt, it only bleeds like a little bit. I give up for a day. I'm too fucking frustrated. That is so embarrassing! That is so embarrassing! I'm literally crying over my nails right now. Because they're so ugly. Oh my god, okay. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels. And this is what I got! <laughs> you said to do this! Martina lo fai. Martina lo fai. E niente, il piercing non è entrato, quindi top. E poi non entrava, eh, quindi lui ha spinto forte e io ho fatto le urla brutte. Ci abbiamo provato, Jack. Che idea di merda, Jack. <ride> Oi gente, tudo bem com vocês? Eu sou a Sam, eu sou body piercer e eu vim contar pra vocês a história dessa minha cliente Fui eu que fiz essas perfurações aqui E eu vou contar pra vocês como essa perfuração chegou nesse estado Ela tava com muita dificuldade em fazer a higienização, principalmente da parte de trás Como vocês podem ver, tem muita sujeira acumulada no anti-hélix, no conch e no dente né? E também nessas perfurações mais antigas, né? Nesses, no lóbulo aqui Então ela me mandou uma mensagem desesperada, querendo saber o que ela poderia fazer pra sarar logo isso. Então ela veio aqui no estúdio, né? Falei pra ela vir aqui. Ela veio, fiz a higienização, passei o tratamento pra ela, fiz o acompanhamento depois, e esse foi o resultado depois de quatro dias. Como vocês podem ver, reduziu bastante, mas ainda não 100%, então a gente continuou fazendo o tratamento, e depois de uma semana, né, junto com esses quatro dias, esse foi o resultado. Olha como melhorou. Se essa perfuração eu conseguir salvar, por que a sua não? Am I get pierced? I'm about to get pierced <laughs> from him <laughs> who never did this before. <laughs> I'm gonna get pierced. <laughs> Alright, turn up. Can that one to three, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>
Second try. Kannst du da andere machen? Oh my god, sag 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Das war okay. Sehr gut. Okay. Okay. Dinner hurt. Just have a dinner hurt. Das heißt, du musst nur ein Ding drauf. So I was just taking videos about to take pictures and something fell and landed on my hand and it was this, a little ball that goes on your jewelry. Everything's there, but now I'm questioning, what if I'm hallucinating? So I lost my nose ring while I was sleeping, so I have to put the safety pin in until I can find a new 14 gauge to put in the piercing. And all I can imagine is Rally, he does piercing fails on YouTube, going, safety pins are not jewelry. <laughs> if he sees this video, I'll die. I don't know if he has a TikTok. But I look so weird. Before I had a 14 gauge and I had tongue bar... Because I, I break tongue bars all the time. I had the balls of a tongue bar on the end, so they're like white with yellow dots in the middle. I thought it looked kind of cool. It was different, you know? But no, now I just have a safety pin in my nose. <laughs> also, if Riley did ever see this, what's up? Look at my nose. <laughs> what? You fuckers. You fuckers. You motherfucker, I will rain hellfire upon you!